Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and this is a preview of the Nikon 200 to 500 millimeter f 5.6 E ED VR. Now that is a lot of terminology, but this lens surprised the heck out of me because I didn't think Nikon was working on a super zoom like this after their 80 to 400 millimeter. Now this is a 200 to 500 straight 5.6, whereas the Sigmas and Tamrons go from 5.6 to 6.3, this stays right there at 5.6 all the way. It has a tripod collar built in in case you need to use a monopod or you want to put it on a tripod, but if you want to handhold it, it has 4.5 stops of VR capability. So that VR is going to come in handy when you need to handhold it and you really, you know, if you're shaking a little bit. Now keep in mind, if you're zoomed out to 500 millimeters on a full frame camera, you don't want to drop your shutter speed below 1 500th of a second because you're going to introduce more handshake, but with the VR, it could counteract that. So keep that in mind. Now it has a 95 millimeter filter thread. That's going to be a big ass lens cap and that's going to be a big ass filter. It's almost the size of my head. So when the filters get larger, they get more expensive. Don't know why that it didn't do a drop in one in the back of the lens, which would be probably be less expensive, but who's going to make a filter? Well, Nikon's going to put out one. Maybe Hoya will make a 95 millimeter filter that you could put onto the back or put onto the front as well. So they're saying that it's going to be less than 1500 bucks. Now that is priced to sell. If you need a mega zoom that's 200 to 500 because you can't afford a 200 to 400 f4 which is over $10,000 or some of the other lenses like a 600 millimeter that's $13,000, this could be a great option if you're shooting birds, if you're out in nature, if you're shooting sports outdoors. Don't mistake this for an indoor lens. It's really not meant for the indoors because you need a lot of light to compensate for that 5.6. Now what does it weigh? Well, it weighs as much as a baby. Actually, it weighs almost as much as a five pound bag of gummy bears that I used to eat. It weighs 5.1 pounds, which is heavy, but you have the monopod capability and you have the VR capability if you're gonna handhold it. Now, it is girthy at 4.2 inches around and it's long at 10.5 inches long. So it's a big boy. Now, this is an interesting lens. Never expected Nikon to be coming out with this, but a 200 to 500 5.6 may come in handy for you, especially at an under $1,500 price point. What do you guys think? That is my preview of the Nikon 200 to 500. We'll just call it a 5.6. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.